Have you ever had one of those dreams where you're falling? You know the kind. It's usually when you're all comfy and just drifting off to sleep, then you jerk yourself awake. Well, I can pretty much guarantee you that the fall in your dreams isn't nearly as far, fast, or as long as Adam Yamaguchi's. Oh, and I hope you haven't had breakfast yet. If you like falling and screaming, you probably love roller coasters. They've been around since the 17th century, but the first roller coaster in America opened in 1884 at Coney Island in Brooklyn, New York. And ever since, roller coasters have been constantly innovated to go faster, drop farther, and even go upside down. The latest creation is called a Giga Coaster, a roller coaster with a height greater than 300 feet. I hightailed it to Carowinds Amusement Park in Charlotte, North Carolina, to check out the baddest Giga Coaster in the US. The Fury 325. We wanted to get the world record. Let's be clear about that. It was all about the height and the speed. And I really wanted to get a lot of great airtime out of this ride. Airtime refers to the sensation of zero gravity or floating out of your seat. My physics lesson was to climb the Fury's lift hill, 325 feet up, at a 40 degree angle, to see the point where the potential energy of the car going up turns into kinetic energy as it goes over the curve. And from here, we're looking at a steep, 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 steep drop. From here on, it's 81 degrees, virtually straight down. You hit 95 miles an hour at the bottom. Wow. But it's actually not the steepest part of the ride. There's another section at the far end that's 91 degrees. When you get into the bank, you can feel yourself float a little bit. So that's the type of technology that's coming out of the computer age where we can really mess with people's minds. The innovation of 3D computer modeling allowed engineers to attain the height and speed needed to propel the coaster on its own. It's all momentum from here on out. Gravity doing its job, the ride makes its way around 6,602 feet of track without any other propulsion. Wow and its twisty, winding, tubular track keeps the ride smooth and fast. It's a very low carbon steel to begin with because then it's, it's malleable. You can, you can bend it and twist it and it still retains its shape and all of its strength. It took three years to design, build, and test the Fury 325 and I was ready to experience the ride for myself. This is the Fury 325. I'm gonna get a front row seat today. Is there an exit for people who come up here and say, I, I can't do this? Not for us, <laughs> we have to ride. We made our way up the 325 foot lift hill, pulled by the longest roller coaster chain in the world, measuring a whopping 1,200 feet long. And then came the moment of truth. Isn't that insane? That was insane. <laughs> yeah. Can we go again? Yeah. <laughs> go again, go again. And we did, five times in a row. 